Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back. It is Imperator Room. It's 574. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are moving well. Um, the Seleucids are surprisingly still in it. We caught red-handed. Um, that's fine. It's actually a pretty decent battle. Ooh, imprisons the head of this family. Or we could give him... Ooh, he is in sorry style. A, a wicked pike in hand. He's been ready to strike down this person a brutal act of violence. Or we could imprison him. Yeah. Get get imprisoned, mate. Get imprisoned. Nice. Um, could I? Oh, actually, these people just constantly get imprisoned, don't they? God. Merwayan, thank you so much for that follow, buddy. And welcome to the channel, new people. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't really get much money for selling him, so... I could execute him. I don't really want to, though. I'm just going to keep him in jail. I'm just going to keep him... Oh, God. My only bloody heir. The fate of the kingdom has always been intertwined. It's a kind of great urgency. They're not of aged persons of quality ready to shoulder responsibilities. Should we have this guy with a very strange name or this guy with a stranger name? He's not the right culture. Oh, no, he's the right culture. A Golian. Well, he's mostly the right culture, I guess. Ugh. They're all terrible. Uh, the first one. If you turn down both suggested characters, you can also adopt other minor characters in the respective character screens. Since a ruling really family expect to hold two positions in government, but only three family members to work, we should look at expanding the family. Alright, so let's find some other people. Let's find some characters. Uh, only males. Uh, someone not shit. Sort by power base, by wealth, sort by... Let's go for the younger boys. Someone who's not terrible. You know? Why not? I can't... They have to not be of great family. Right? Can I not... Uh... Adopt does not have foreign citizen. Fair enough. Foreign character from Epirus. Can I not make him? Oh, that'd be cool. Grant citizenship status. Ooh. Ooh. Brother of the Basilius will be considered a minor character. We'll now consider... Okay. I could grant him citizenship and make him the heir. Good. He's 38 years old. That could be fun. Go on. That sounds like a good time. Yeah, go on. Let's go. Uh, granted citizenship status. Adopt. You can keep his old name as a sign of his origin. Or you're one of the family. You will have the correct name. Thank you very much. There we go. That's pretty cool. Leonistrius Aegeid. Perfect. Ooh, should we make him a commander? Who's the preferred heir? Can I change who I want to be the heir? How do I change it? Imperator. Change preferred heir. Air. Bro? I want a different person. I don't want this loser. Oh. That's stupid. There's no way to manipulate this. It's very annoying. Okay. I might make him a general. <laughs> and then he takes over. Go on. That sounds really funny. I'll make him a general. Oh, that'd be so hilarious. And he would just take over. He would actually take over the country. Right, I don't want you. Can I bring him to trial? Yeah, I might just kill him. Bring him to trial. Does it matter? I'm the Basilius. Reason by a large amount. 
He's accused. He's a well-loved and competent leader. He's gone too far. In the midst of arousing self congratulatory monologue, he pours the dramatic effect and he points at Kalikias Leonitard. A son of the head of the family. It will lead to revolution. Maybe true, but we must be in it together. Uh... What? No. Trial culpability of 83% chance. He cannot... A small fine. He can't afford it. It will go directly to jail. Oh! <laughs> so I'm making the brother of Epirus the new... Boy, the new... Oh, the new leader. I've probably fought him in battle, and now he's somehow managed to worm his way into the head of the Peloponnesian League. That doesn't make any sense. That's awesome. I love it. I like that a lot. I need a new civic researcher. There you go. Oh, can I get this dude married? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Let's go. Ahead. Uh. No, I can't. Damn. Damn, I can't. He's already got a spouse. Yes. Is she barren or something? She's got dysentery. Oh. Damn. Oh well. This is cool. We have a scorned family. The Aegeids. That's me. What? That's literally me. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the character listings. Um, and let's find some people who aren't in specific families. And let's sort them by Marshall. Oh god, I've been downloading Postscriptum this entire time. What? I didn't even mean to be downloading Postscriptum. What? Why was that downloading? I don't understand. Ooh, this guy's alright. He's a mercenary minor character. Oh, he can't dodge him because he's a foreign citizen. This guy, Peloponnesian minor character, does not have the trait stubborn. Hmm. My heir. Oh dear. Uh, you're old as shit. You're okay. Oh, stubborn. What bloody stubborn people are there? There you go. My own family is scorned family. I love it. We're almost back to the manpower amounts that we need. Brilliant. Oh, he's going to die soon. Here we go. <laughs> I somehow managed to get the Aegeids into a minority. I really have, yeah. It's because they just kept dying, man. It's ridiculous. They just wouldn't have children. It's ridiculous. Uh, but we've, got, we've given them quite a lot of power base now. Hmm. Alright, there we go. So now we've made them not from a great family and not from a ruler family. But I can't... That actually would be a much better way of doing it. The problem is they're all bloody stubborn. Alright, let's do it by Chariz... No, no, Finesse. Stubborn. Stubborn. Mercenary. Garbage. These are all garbage. I'll, I'll give them more characters later, I suppose. Let's go back to making money. A bit of feud. The call is busting of sycophants and blah blah blah. Let them fight. This pretender will see the head of the Katiskanina family as a rival. That's fine, I don't care. You're not going to be in charge. Alright, so in terms of the mission tree that I've got next, I need to take this single thing to get that. And I get five freemen for free, which is nice. I wouldn't mind conquering all of this back. Uh, that would actually be quite cool. I'm going to have to fight Phrygia for the rest of it, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. I don't really care about this mission tree, to be honest. It's a bit stupid. City building slots and stuff. It doesn't really matter to me. God, we're wealthy. Okay, I like this. We actually have troops and stuff. Okay. We're going to have to fight Thrace at some point. Problem is, no one cares about me. <laughs> Nobody cares. Having to fight Phrygia is going to be the worst. But a thing to note, I think that the time to fight them is when they're fighting the Seleucids, obviously. 
But the thing is, is that we can just, as allies of uh, Egypt, they will just be pounding into Egypt, Phrygia southern borders. I'll time my war with Phrygia when they're fighting the Seleucids. And once we've done that, there's nothing they can do. They'll destroy them. Like, that's it. Hmm. Imperator of Rome, aristocratic monarchy, or theocratic? That's the question. Let me know in the comments which one you think I should do. Hmm, I don't know. I think I think I do still want the bonuses that I have. I mean, the main difference is the, the happiness penalty bonuses you get. A crisis in Macedon. Hey, a recent death of a Macedonian ruler. Macedon's too small to really give me make me care. I would get a military ideas and an oratory ideas. Oh yeah, I will input recent pop promotion speed. Lovely. I mean, more oratory ideas are pretty cool. Get research points, 20%. Oh. And a mill idea again would be nice, like siege ability, manpower. Something that's actually really good. Well, we'll probably have to go towards a militaristic one later. The Epirate Civil War has finally ended. Is your sibling the one in here? Yes, he is. Your brother's going to be in charge, and your brother's going to conquer your territory, mate. Going to suck for you. We are going to call in Greece again once the war, once we're ready for the war again. Manpower recovery speed, oh yeah. Uh, and the goal is going to be once again to take Illyria Grecia, but I'm also going to be taking pretty much everything I can, uh, and just hoping I can beat them all. I think the thing to do actually is to probably try and defeat Macedon and these guys first. Petition approaches. Oh my God! Did I just get. Whoa. In a hush voice took a vision of the near future which was found by his loved ones having been impaled by a battering ram. He offers all his worldly goods to the state. Did he just... Did he just give me 261? Money for free? What? Okay. Obviously I'm going to take that. Are you mad? I'm so rich now. So this should be the thing that gives me control over everything. Never as a more devout man existed, people climb at the very door of the temple. Glory to him. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Let's get experience decay reduction. Oh, see that is. Might as well spend this money on something. And basic training. So we're going to do it for that, and we're just going to be destroying everything as quickly as we can. Thankfully, we don't have to write the boss friends. Egypt is busy fighting people, but, you know, they're not really going to have a difficulty. I want to make my manpower a bit more. You know, every year I'm going to get about 5k, so I'm going to wait another couple years, just until we're ready. Um, and I'm not really going to be... Oh, so Macedon actually does have 21,000 soldiers. So that's interesting. And a bit annoying. Uh, where is their capital? Oh, their kids, their king's a child. Where's their cap? There. Okay. I'm going to want to rush to Macedon. Very much so. Yeah. Right, we finally replenished all our boys. I have no heavy cav anymore. So we're going to recruit a few heavy cav. Just four. And give our guys a chance to get back again. Would you go into Stellaris New Horizons? There's been tons of new updates. I've actually been playing a Stellaris game on my own. Oh no. Oh, he's a mercenary dude. That's fine. Uh... There you go. Boop. I've actually been playing it on my own um, and enjoying it. I tried playing at a really hard difficulty and I got absolutely wrecked. I was actually playing... What traditions did I take? Are you referring to in this game or in the Stellaris thing I just asked? I wasn't sure. Because in this game, I have... Actually, is that called traditions? Oh, shit. 
Um, I'm playing on my own. I actually tried playing a barbaric to spoil it. I tried playing on Admiral difficulty. And I just got absolutely wrecked because I wasn't able to take any pops from anybody because everyone started out with triple my fleets. Like, I was like 20... It was like 20 years into the game and they had like 30 destroyers. Like, well, then I can't ever take pops, so I just fall behind. So I get for not putting scaling difficulty on, I suppose. But here we are. All right. Pops are coming. I think we've got to make a move, guys. They've only got 21 boys. I think we're all right. In this game. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. So we've got... Um, we've got sanction privileges. These are our ideas rather than traditions. Uh, so monthly corruption right now, monthly war exhaustion, and rule of popularity game. Because I wanted that state religion happiness because everyone is my same religion. Okay, damn. How long does it take to recruit boys? Nice, okay. So we're going to create... Oh, Simus offers friendship. It could be useful. Nope, we don't need it, lol. So I'm actually going to break off two heavy cavalry over here. Remember that I have massive miltech advantage on these guys. Oh, and I have mercenaries. Jesus, I completely forgot about that. I think it's time we got ready. Let's go. Let's go. I am ready. Oh, tradition! Oh my god, you're totally right. Mate, I'm so stupid. I've gone down the right tree. I want some more ships, because I have a lot of naval things I'm going to need to be doing. And I've actually lost all my ships. Horribly, it was really tragic. And also, I wanted the siege ability in the archers and heavy infantry. Next, I'm probably going to go down the cav stuff, maybe? I am going pretty mercenary heavy at the moment, because I'm so rich. Sorry, I was being really stupid. I know what they are. I've, played, I've got like 50, 60... How many hours have I got in this game? I'm just being a stupid dum-dum. I'm so dumb. I've got 130 hours in this game. How dumb do you have to be? God damn it, Aldra. Alright, so there we go. We have a decent amount of boys now. What's their loyalty? 86. <gasps> the governor... The brother of the governor of Macedonia. This guy was just about to piss off, get pissed. Oh my god. Oh no, he was just about to become uh, disloyal. Oh my god. That was close. That was really close. <laughs> I'm going to bribe him. Um, I mean, we could just replace him, to be honest. But he's the best, so I don't really want to. So I will keep him. But I'm going to bribe him. There you go. Time to not be a dick. Olympic Games concluded. Yeah, no surprise there. I've literally never won the Olympics in this, in this game. Like, I've won it before, but never this. Never this series. Alright, we're doing fine. War exhaustion's down. Actually, it's still really high. Like, what the shit? It's so high. Oh my god, it's so high. Ow. You want to not, please? Play like tyranny all the day. But at least I have huge amounts of stability. Give me lots of lovely bonuses. Okay. Let's get our boys ready. I'm ready, boys. Let's go. Okay. Give me that experience. You too. Oh, and he's already getting power base because of the men. Bountiful harvest. Get money or stability. Give me the money, obviously, you moron. Right. Thoughts on. Let's beat these guys up and then we're going to rotate south. Here we go. I could even call the Bosporans in. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Alright, War Part 2, guys. Let's go. But that is it for the episode. Make sure you do leave me a like and a comment on this video. Let me know what you think of this glorious series. And if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.